everyone. This morning I'm going to show you a couple of painting techniques that you're going to need to do when you create a collage such as this. All the Made By Me kits use very basic equipment to create these lovely textured papers and today I'm just going to explain a couple of those to you. An understanding of how much paint is required when you're mixing colors. So when we talk about a hint, it's a very small amount, sort of like a two to three millimeter diameter, a small amount, five to eight millimeter diameter, medium is about a centimeter, a large couple of centimeters, and extra large is um, maybe about three centimeters. We'd only ever use extra large if we're using something like white or a lemon yellow. The hint, on the other hand, we would use only for very dark colors when we're trying to gray off a, a brighter color, say for um, the landscape where you've got hills. So we're talking about blacks and dark browns when we um, use a hint. When we refer to landscape, we want your page to be this way around. So that's just like in, when you're making a Word document or portrait would be this way around. The main technique that we use is sponging. So pop your paint onto a tray. I've just used an ice cream lid for this and um, we want to have our colours laid out so that they're really separate from each other and we can use the middle part of the tray to mix. For sponging technique we just want to wet our sponge just a little bit so that it's nice and flexible. So you dip the sponge in the water, squeeze it out and then Get yourself a little bit of paint on your sponge and basically just drag it over the paper like so. It doesn't have to be super even. In fact, it's better if it's not really because we want lots of textures. If you're wanting to make a stipple effect with a sponge, you just, again, you want to wash your sponge out in between colours um, unless you're wanting a mix of colours. Like, for instance, if you were making the sand in that collage um, piece, you might not worry about washing out your sponge. You might just dip it in the next colour and the next colour and it doesn't matter if they get a little bit blurred. To make a stipple technique, get a, get a little bit of your paint and you're just going to dab it on like so. So this creates a nice texture if we're doing something for um, a bush line or sand or even the sky, you can use something like that. Dry brush technique, just dip your brush in the paint. And again, you're just dabbing all over the area that you want to paint. So it might be that you are doing this on top of a colored background. Just grab yourself a little bit of handy towel. Doesn't have to be um, anything flat. Just sort of screw it up into a little ball like so. And again, you're just going to dip a paper towel into the paint and dab it on. And that's the technique you get with crumpled paper. So those are some very basic techniques. Creating textures with bubble wrap. So you've got a piece of bubble wrap in your kit and you can apply the paint with um, a sponge or you could do it with a brush, it doesn't really matter. So just drag it across the bubble wrap and then Wherever you're stamping it onto, it might be onto a coloured background such as green, which we are, or it could be onto blue, which you will use when you're creating the sand. And you get this really nice texture. You can press it harder if you want the colour darker. So for the corrugated card, I'm going to paint a little bit of the lemon yellow onto the card. And then I'm going to stamp it on top of that green sponged background just to show you the effect that you can create. This is lovely if you are wanting to make your hills. And it comes out and it's not very intense. Again, if you put more um, paint onto the card, you can get more of an effect. I'm going to show you again, and this time I'm going to go and do a crosshatch sort of look. So lots of paint. With all of these things, use as much paint as you think is necessary. Don't be too mean with it because otherwise you won't um, get a nice effect. 
Okay, so that's the cross hatch look. You are going to be creating some sand effects with the doily. So first thing is you need to do is to put some of your yellow down. So we'll put the yellow down here. This is the lemon yellow from the paint set. And then we are going to need a little bit of white. So we'll shift that out of the way. Put some white in the middle there. So pop it on top and then press the paint onto and through the little gaps created in the doily pattern. And you lift it off and you'll see it's very fine, but it's a nice effect, especially if we're making sand. You could do the same actually if you were using the, um, the yellow ochre paint. Let's try that and see what that looks like. But the whole point of this um, kit is to have fun and not to be afraid to create art with these basic ingredients. So yeah, it's it's subtle, but it's nice. If you just get the a plain piece of cardboard, there's a little bit in your kit, and you can paint the side of your card using the sponge or a brush. Um, so let's say we're going to use the brush. Just going to paint the side like this. And then we're just going to press it down and create these wonderful lines, really straight, which is sometimes really hard to do by hand. So you can create these gorgeous lines. We're going to use this technique when we make the grasses. But again, we'll be putting down a background first and then pressing the color on top of the background. So when it refers to make some lines with your card, you can do this. Mm -hmm. 